Hey everybody, welcome to my channel, Low Without Limits. Today I was just at the gym this morning doing legs and I like doing abs on leg days as well. But th today I'll be showing you a really quick ab circuit routine. It can be about 15 to 18 minutes. It's five different exercises, um, but it'll actually be six since you have to do left and right for one of them. And it'll be 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. So it'll be a total of like about six minutes per circuit. You can do it two times or three times. I like doing it three times personally. And this ab routine, I like doing at home. So I just have a yoga mat here and you don't need any equipment. If you do, like that's a cool bonus, but it's really good to do on the go in your apartment. So on days that I don't really feel like making it to the gym, I always at least try to do ab exercises. That way I can say that I did something. So at the gym where you need more weights and more equipment, at home, like, all you need is your abs to do ab exercises. So this is a really quick one and you can take it with you uh, when you're traveling. So I'll be traveling uh, pretty soon. So I'll need something to do in the hotel room. So this is one of those. That way you can just like stay in shape and you don't have to worry about not working out and not getting to the gym. You can just do something on your own, requires no equipment and it's super easy. Of course, you can make it more challenging if you wish to, but this is the app routine that I really like doing and I'll be showing you the circuit and then you can just repeat that as many times as you want. Okay, so the first one that I'll be doing for 30 seconds is a plank hold. So that's 30 seconds there, and you take a 30 second break, or if you kinda wanna speed it up, maybe 15 seconds or 20 seconds if you wish to. But the next routine, the next app exercise that we'll be doing are in apps. So we'll do that for another 30 seconds. These ones, you can make it easier by leaving your hands on the mat, but I like doing it with my hands kind of out. I feel like it, stays, it helps me work my core a little bit more. And I feel like the slower you go, the more you can focus on your abs too. And then you rest another 30 seconds. And then this is the exercise. The next exercise are plank dips. So you need to do them on your left and your right side. So that's why it's kind of like more like six exercises, but you can do the left and the right without a break in between. So it's just a longer exercise than the other ones. And then other side. And if doing the plank raises is too hard for you, then you can just do side planks and hold it for 30 seconds. The next exercise that I'll show you are leg raises, and that way you can keep your lower back and butt stable on the ground. I personally like putting my hands not all the way underneath, but kind of like my thumb, this little area, right underneath my butt. So, another 30 seconds of that. And if you want to, at the top of the leg raise, you can kind of raise your legs even higher. Now the last exercise are mountain climbers. So you can do them with no equipment, just on a mat like this. You can make them a little bit harder if you want to but do like a little touch. Or you can use 
They're super light piece of equipment, it's easy to travel with, easy to just keep in your house. They're little power gliders, these are the ones I got on Amazon. They look like this, so they're fabricy on one side and plasticky on the other, so you can use them on any floor type. I have wood floors here, so even if you just had socks, that would work, or you can use these on the uh, fabricy side, or if you were in a place with just carpet, you can use the plasticky side. Another way to work, if you didn't have socks, you were in a hotel room, and there's like tile or wood floors, you can use uh, a towel that they give you. So there's a lot of different ways to do this. Again, if you didn't have any of it, you could just do the basic mountain climber way. But how I'm going to do it, is I'm gonna use these gliders, and instead of lifting my legs up, I'm just gonna kind of slide them back and forth. Get the timer going. 30 seconds of these two. The reason I like using the gliders is because since both of your feet are moving, it does require a bit more core strength. And I feel like it takes a really long time for you to get your leg up when you're doing a regular mountain climber. Whereas these, you can go a little bit faster and really feel it and really get your heart rate up, which is really good. So that's the full circuit. It's five exercises. Uh, of course, the side abs, the side planks, our left and right side. Um, so kind of like six exercises. Between, obviously, it's, we'll take your breath away. Um, between each set, you can rest for up for a minute instead of just 30 seconds that you rested between each um, exercise. And you can do that two, three times. Uh, this took me about six minutes, uh, or actually a little bit less because I didn't rest as long in between each exercise. But if you did the 30 seconds each, a little over six minutes. Um, so if you rest a little bit more in between, it can be if you do three sets, um, like a 20 minute exercise, which is super easy, super doable. And obviously it like really uh, gets your heart rate up and it works your abs. It works like the side planks really work your obliques and the other ones will really work your lower abs, which my lower abs are where I have the most trouble. I feel like up here, um, I've never really been, like even when I gained a little bit of weight, I've never really had an issue in my upper stomach area. I always keep my weight down here. Um, I'm sure as many women do. And obviously it looks more noticeable right after I eat and I'm super bloated. So I like keeping that area nice and uh, strong. That way when I do eat, my bloat kind of, it kind of bounces out how bloated I'll look. So I don't look as bad each time I eat food. Um, but these were super cheap on Amazon. I'll leave a link to them down below too, which I really like. There's a bunch of other exercise equipments that are super easy and easy to keep at home or travel with. So I'll link those in a blog post about like at home workout tips and tricks. That way if you don't have a gym membership like I do, you can still be doing something. And over the next few months, I'll be showing you different at home or on the go workouts. So today was abs. I'll do some stuff for upper body, legs as well. That way, if you're on, if you do have a gym membership but you're traveling soon, like I am, you can still have something to do while you're at the at your hotel or you're going on a run, you're going on the beach. You can still use what's around you to your benefit to stay in shape if you feel like you're kind of getting a little soft from maybe eating too much gelato in Italy. So that's that video for today and I hope you enjoyed it. If you tried out the uh, workout routine, let me know what you think. I'm gonna do this two more times and I'll see you in the next one.